something that I normally do with my Chinese pasta. So, um, yeah, so Chinese pasta is normally on the highest floor. So, we normally, and it has no elevator. In this building. In this building, it doesn't have any entry. So, we usually just have to walk up. Yes, that's correct. I said it's But it is a home workout and it does exercise. That's all I have to say. So, um, Generally, like in first semester, we had Chinese on a Monday, and it was like in the night. So normally, I would just eat class and get a little ice cream. Um, so I normally get ice cream at a place that we call Westgate. So remember, I was telling you about Northgate. Let's go know we're at Westgate. So basically, it's called in Chinese Westgate is called Shi Man. So Shi meaning West, and you know that Man means Gate. So yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys the condition of Westgate now because um, currently it's being blocked off by the school, so we can't even access it because of Corona. And these measures are put in place so that we can stay. It's called This is basically where I had like my first. if this is actually what the amount for the juice right and then i'm gonna purchase it by putting in my bank information so that's actually how we pay for things here in china closed and as you can see I've been videoing all around the school and you don't see that much people that's because um, we're advisory to stay inside as much as possible and not gather in large crowds so um, we are permitted now to actually walk around the campus but as you can see um, it's really fenced off the whole school is fenced around and we basically can't go out as we're gated in right now but there are times when they open it and the internationals like to really play football and get in there so especially the Jamaicans yeah my job <laughs> yeah my job um so guys the Nanchong they really love their football so yeah they um hopefully in the future one day I can actually show you guys a clip of a whole football match and you'll see how rough them play yeah <laughs> So let's move along. Yes guys, so the building you're actually seeing right now is one of the affiliated hospitals for our school. As you know, our school is a medical university. So therefore we have a, we have like one central hospital but it has a different a lot of different buildings. So um you're seeing one of them right now, like the back of it. 
However, um, because it's so close to the school, what the school has actually done is gated off the section to really go over there so no one is allowed into the hospital from our school or out of it into our school so yeah um in china you have a lot of skyscrapers and you see a lot of skyscrapers if you visit china because they have a lot of people it's very populated here and not that much land space in comparison to the amount of people that they have so they have to build up instead of across you know yes guys so the building you're actually seeing right now is one of the affiliated hospitals for our school as you know our school is a medical university so therefore we have a we have like one central hospital but it has a different a lot of different buildings so um you're seeing one of them right now like the back of it however um because it's so close to the school what the school has actually done is gated off the section to really go over there so no one is allowed into the hospital from our school or out of it into our school so yeah um in china you have a lot of skyscrapers and you see a lot of skyscrapers if you visit china because they have a lot of people it's very populated here and not that much land space in comparison to the amount of people that they have so they have to build up instead of across you know okay guys so right now we're transitioning from the soccer field and we're actually going to show you southgate so right there is southgate which is actually called nanmun and yeah so that's basically the entrance that we would use to go walk over into the hospital however it's guarded off right now so the building that you're seeing here is the fourth dorm building so we have around five That's our dorm building. guys so as you can see the perimeter of the school is fenced around um and generally we don't have an east gate but yeah that's it so so we literally have to get permission to come out and by doing that they're just trying to ensure that we Um, but yeah, it's very luscious here and what 
I really appreciate about the school and the auxiliary staff is that they really do their best in maintaining like the whole look of the school. They're always working hard and they always try to do their job. So kind of a beautiful environment. So let's go. A lot of people always tend to study here. The book is so sweet and serene and it's so calming. As you can hear the little birds chirp. I hope you guys hear that. And it's so it's just breathtaking. Now we're heading back to Northgate, guys, and we're actually gonna collect some food. So we'll show you how it's done. Okay, guys. So as you can see, this is the food area. This is where they leave the food, and you might see some packages, but those are mainly packages for Chinese. Um, and yeah. So right now we're going to collect some of our food and for KFC. Finger looking bad! <laughs> Place before Corona because they don't want any and anybody coming on to the school compound, you know. 